friends and welcome to another Hayley's Help. Firstly, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have continued subscribing to our little Hayley's Help family. I truly do appreciate it. Today's vlog, I wanted to bring you guys a laundry routine. Now, I know I've done this before, but the reason for this one is we are now swiftly moving along into the summer months. So yesterday, for example, here in the UK anyway, it hit 27 degrees for some parts of the country. So with that in mind, I feel like the tumble dryers for a lot of us are starting to become a bit redundant and we're taking to moving on out. Moving on up, moving on up, moving on up. And we're heading out into the gardens and we're hanging our washing outside. Today I'm going to be using the Vileda laundry care products, including the Total Reflect Ironing Board, voted number one by Ideal Home. We'll see if it's number one within the Haley's Help channel as well. Okay guys, so we are going to head out to the Vileda washing line. Um, here's just a quick tip for you guys, or hip as we like to call it here on the Haley's Help channel. If you are planning on getting the Vileda one or you've already got one, when you hammer it in, you don't actually need to cement this one in, but hammering it in, um, you do need some sort of wooden block or just like a piece of wood that you can put over it to hammer it in the ground. It does go in, but um, the ranger was like pushing it in to begin with, like with just his hands. And while it did go in slightly, it just became really, it just was really hard to do. So um, the best way of doing it is using like a wooden block and then a hammer or if you've got like, you know, a Timmy mallet mallet like wacka wacka, get that and just hammer it in. Um, I am going to be using the Vileda pegs here. I'm going to separate the colours just because I'm Wrigley's Extra and I don't really want all the different colours mixed. So I'm going to work with the blues today. True blue, baby, I love you. So let's work with the blues. Those can go there. Um, and we'll take these out and we're going to hang them on the line. And then we are going to proceed to drying them. Okay, so the two things that I'm going to be hanging the wet washing onto is the Vileda outside line and I've also got the Vileda air up that obviously goes indoors. So this is super handy for if we've got like a bit of unpredictable weather here. You can put the air outside but if it starts to rain you can quickly whip it inside or you can just leave it inside for your washing to dry inside. Like we say on the Haley's Help channel, you've got an option, you've got an option, and you've got an option. There's lots of options here when it comes to drying. So let's go outside first and hang these on the outside line, and then we'll do the inside error. line and now I am in the kitchen using the Vileda era. Now what I really do enjoy about this indoor era is this little bit at the front. Now what you can do is you can clip socks and like underwear onto there as like a little, I mean how genius is that? You don't need a Peggy Sue, you literally just have that. How clever is that? Like, I know I'm easily pleased, but I thought that was really good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, with this era, you literally, I mean, it is, what, one thing I will say, this is quite big. So if your house is like, if you don't have much room, it's probably not going to work so well. Um, but I guess it depends. You could have it just out in your lounge or in your kitchen area, but just be mindful of the size of it because it is quite big. That said, you can, um, it does come apart, and these little devices here are to clip it over your radiators. So you can use the end bits 
and they clip on like so. And then you can hook it over your radiators as well. So if you have got your radiators on, they just come off here, these bits. And then like I said, you can clip them over and use it as a radiator dryer. So that's quite good that it's like multifunctional. So I do really like that about this era. And again, I mean, it is big, but I quite like the fact that it's bigger because you could definitely fit a whole wash load on here. And if you did want to use this outside, you could. And if it started raining, well, they've only freaking put a set of wheels on it, haven't they? <laughs> like a bike. <laughs> so you can push it like a baby's buggy. I mean, can you imagine me walking along the street like, washing anyone? Anyone got some washing? <laughs> Again, I am easily pleased. So, um, yeah, we're going to now let the washing dry for a bit and then we are going to head on and do a bit of ironing on this number one ironing board. We'll see if it's number one on the Hayley's Help channel, but apparently so far, it's the number one ironing board. Um, ironing the stuff, I'm going to talk through some key features of the Total Reflect by Leader Ironing Board. Now, one of the features it has, where it gets the word reflect from, I'm assuming, is there's a coating underneath it, and what it does is it reflects back the steam when you're ironing. So, in theory, depending on what fabric you're using, obviously, I'd say probably thicker stuff it's not gonna work so great with, but depending on the fabric, when you're ironing, what it should do is um, do the underside for you without you having to then flip it over and iron the underside. But we will test that out here on the Holy Help channel and see whether that happens. Another really good feature about this ironing board is the size of it. So it's really, really wide. So when you're doing things like bed sheets, or towels or whatever, you've got a nice surface area to be working with and you're not having to like, you know, use a tiny, tiny little piece and then keep doing, you know what I mean, the whole, <sighs> that. Um, it also is adjustable in height. So let's say you're like five foot four and you go by the name of Hayley. You don't need to do the whole tippy toe thing or it's just uncomfortable because you can't find an ironing board to fit to your particular height requirements. It's like going to Chesington, isn't it? Oh, everyone's got a height requirement. Um, so that is really good as well. So you can just literally, you can make this taller if you want, you can make it smaller if you want. So that is another bonus. As well with this ironing board is the feet. Because the feet are so wide, it makes the board very sturdy, so you can feel from this ironing board, it's not gonna collapse on you at any point or you know fall over and you're gonna have like steaming hot iron embedded in your foot and then you're gonna to have to go to agony and be like, something terrible's happened, can you fix my foot? Because the iron has fallen on it. So that is also very good. Let's crack on and see how we get on with these shorts. They are quite creased, as you can see, but what I'm looking for here with the ironing board is for it to do both sides. So this is gonna be the test. All of a sudden it's become very serious in here, like. Let's see how this fares up.
Right, it's the moment of truth. Let's flip the shorts over and see. It's not too bad. So that's how they're looking from me not ironing this side. This is the front and this is the back that I haven't ironed. There are a few creases, but I would say actually that's probably more because the material isn't completely straight. So um, I would probably just do a quick once over um, just to get the creases out the back a little bit. But I would say that this would probably cut your, your ironing time down if you're like a keen ironer. If it's one of your hobbies um, or you've got a lot of ironing that you do, I would say that that would definitely cut your ironing down so you're not having to put as much effort into the other side as what you probably would have to do normally. So I do think that is pretty decent. Okay, let's move on to the knitted t-shirt. Um, actually, before I start ironing this, let me just speak about this little holder here. I mean, again, I am easily pleased. It's got like a rack at the end if you like, so if you want to hang as you iron, you can hook your clothes over there, so it's like a whole station. Do you know what I mean? Like. You literally can be like, <laughs> while you've got Alexa on in the background, dancing to whatever you enjoy dancing to. Um, and it also can take the, um, you know, the big steam iron, so the ones that have got that big pod that you, they're like cordless, I think they're cordless. I'm sure they're cordless and they're like a big pod and you can put your iron, iron on it. And then also, obviously, just like a standard iron, they fit as well. So again, you've got options. You've got an option. You've got an option. <laughs> How long before that gets annoying, guys? Vote below. Okay, let's move on to the knitted t-shirt now. Um, and for this, I am hoping to not have to do the other side. So normally, I would flip it over and do the other side. For this, I'm hoping that the bi-leader was flexible. Iron will remove the creases from the opposite side and then this is just good to wear. Christ, it's like being in a sauna, you know, like a steam room where you're like, get a steamy in here, guys. creases here on the arm and a couple on this side as well but overall I definitely think it works out quite well this whole reflective panel underneath the ironing board why not my leader very good Hey guys, it is that time in the vlog where I'm going to do my final fall. Bit like Jerry Springer, but I'm not like, you know, shouting at a load of people, fighting and yelling at one another. I'm just going to do my final fall on the Vileda laundry care that I've been using in this vlog. So first up, I'm going to focus on the out 
side washi line by Vileda. I will add all the links in the description box, guys, for all of the stuff that I've used in today's vlog. So if you are curious, go and check that out. Um, but the outdoor washing line, what I will say about this is, while I do really like it, and I like the fact that it can hold a lot of laundry, for me, anyway, because I am quite little, it is, the particular size one I've got anyway, is very big and it's quite tall. So the outside edges of the washing line, I'm not gonna lie, I do struggle to reach them. Like, I have to get like a stiletto, one of my like heels on, just to give me like a bit of height <laughs> to get higher up. So that does cause a bit of an issue for me. That said though, because the line is so big and it can take so much washing, I don't have to use the higher lines, I can just use like the lower down ones. So I am gonna give it a, I'm not gonna give it a full heart because of the height issues, but then that's not by leader's fault, that's more like I was born this way. So I'm gonna give it three quarters of a heart, only because, like I said, I can't reach the very top, but other than that, I do like the fact that it folds down really compact. I do like the fact that you can put the bars inside these little attachments to keep it nice and tight and concealed. Um, so you get a three quarters of a heart, a Haley's heart for the outdoor washing line by Lida. Okay guys, my final thoughts on the by Lida indoor era is I think it is a dream, I really do. I mean, it is like uh, all singing, all dancing, multifunctional gadget if ever I did see one. So I love the fact that you can take pieces off, you can put it on the radiator if you want. I love the little sock things. Again, I am easily pleased, remember this, um, that you can just slide the socks into. I love the fact that you can wheel it along like it's some sort of buggy and be like, you literally feel like the bird lady out of Mary Coffins, like, feed the birds, tap into bag. Um, so I do really like that. So I am gonna give that a full Hayley's heart. And finally guys, my final thoughts on the Vileda Total Reflect Ironing Board are this. If you are a homemaker, which I am, um, I think it's brilliant. It's an absolute dream. I love the fact that it is big, that it is sturdy. You could get through loads of washing um, on the base of this and things like sheets and stuff. What a dream. So I really, really like that about it. And I do like the reflectiveness of the actual ironing board because I definitely could see from doing the few things that I did iron, when you are ironing it, it is going to speed up time and God knows, as a homemaker, I'm running out of time. I need more time in my life, so thanks, Vileda, Total Reflect Ironing Board, for giving me some more time. <laughs> so I do really like that about this ironing board, and I am gonna therefore give it a full Haley's heart, because I really, really enjoyed using this ironing board. I mean, I know that sounds a bit nuts, like you enjoyed an ironing board, but I did. This is what we're all here for, my homemaking routines. And now I can just be a better homemaker. Thank you, Jesus, and Vileda. Thanks, guys, for watching my Vileda laundry care routine. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have done so, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, because I surely do enjoy your company. Coming up next week, we are taking things to the great outdoors. We're going in the wilderness. Anything could happen. It's anyone's game. It's going to be very, very exciting indeed. And I think you, gorgeous poppets, are going to very much enjoy my two parts special vlog outside. So don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss our outdoors adventure. I'll see you all again next time, guys. Bye.